and we want you to have faith in God. Since I've heard it, but it's from back in the day, but not too far back in the day. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's called We Worship Christ. Hallelujah. Y'all want to help me sing? We worship Christ. you this morning. Hallelujah. We lift you up and we magnify your name. We give you all glory, oh God, for you truly worthy of all praises. Now have your way in this place today, oh God. We welcome you, oh God, not only into your house of worship, but into our hearts, Lord. Come on in and have your way, oh God. Move by your spirit today, Lord. Oh, God, anoint the service, oh, God. I pray that you touch our musicians and touch, oh, God, our, our singers, our prayer praise team, Lord. I pray that each and every one here, oh, God, oh, God, receive something that will draw them closer to you. I pray for our speaker, anoint your word, oh, God. Anoint your Moved by your spirit, Lord. Lord, and we just thank you. Give us the unity of your spirit, Lord. 
even those, oh God, that are listening in, oh God, over the internet. I pray, oh God, that you will give them, oh God, a word. Uh, let your word go forth, oh God, and oh God, touch the hearts, oh God, and oh God, you draw them unto you in the name of Jesus. Now have your way in this place, oh God. Have your way right now, Lord. Jesus. Let's lift up the Lord right now. Give him praise. Hallelujah, Lord. Bless your holy name. We bless your holy name, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name, oh God. Hallelujah. We bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Amen. How many know the Lord is high and lifted up this morning? Oh, come on. He's high and we're going to lift him Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, say hi and lift. Hi and lift it up in all the earth is who you are. High and lift. Hi and lift it up in all the earth is who you are.
Oh, come on, Zion, and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Somebody said, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be on my mouth. See, God is waiting on a yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. He's waiting on a, a yes from you. Oh, I know it might be Sunday and it's a, an early morning, but he's still waiting on a yes. Can you just tell him, yeah, come on. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Absolutely wonderful. We want to welcome everyone. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. And I will choose to rejoice and be glad in it. We want to welcome our Facebook listeners, everyone in their respective places this morning. Amen. Last week, Bishop kicked off Men's Month. Oh, it got quiet in here. See, the, 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 the women, actually, it kicked off that Friday, that Friday night during the shut-in. And if you wasn't here for that, you missed something. It was special, amen? And then Bishop just, just brought it home, brought it home. So we're going to continue that this month. And we have Elder Charles, who, who will be bringing forth the word this morning, amen? But before he comes... But before he comes, we got E. Smooth, Elder E. Smooth in the house. Yes, give me, give me just a little something as I introduce my brother from another mother. He hails all the way from New Orleans. Did I say New Orleans right? New Orleans, New Orleans. <laughs> Close. South Carolina by way of New Orleans, by way of Marion, Illinois. <laughs> but he is, a, he is a gift, and it's amazing when you see the gift that God gives you connected to the purpose, amen, and what happens and something special that happens. So y'all give him a warm welcome as he comes, then followed by Elder Charles. Amen. That 
that was good for me, but let's give the Lord a hand praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Give the Lord a hand worthy of our praise. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you know that you won't leave here the way you came? Hallelujah. How many expecting something this morning? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Keep your expectancy up. Amen. Stay in faith and pull on the gift. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You won't leave here like you came. In Jesus' name. Found, tormented. Seek our land for the Holy Ghost of Acts. He's still the same. You won't leave me like you can in Jesus' name. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to go to Romans chapter 10. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way. My title of my message today is going to be, You Are Anointed to Carry the Assignment. You Are Anointed to Carry the Assignment. We have a natural assignment, but we also have a spiritual assignment. So you are anointed to carry whatever you're going through today. No matter what it looks like, you are anointed for this. God have already qualified you to go through this. Go ahead, go ahead, honey. Yeah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Woo, thank you, God. Ah, yeah, the boat's key. Yeah, ah, yeah, yes, boy. yes. Oh, I'm a shot. I'm a big ass seat. Yeah, the boat's up. Yes. Oh, I'm a big ass shot. I'm a big ass seat. Yes. Yeah, the boat's up. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Your help is here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The store is open. The store is open. The store is open. Let's call on that name. It's deliverance in that name. It's power in that name. Your spirit fall afresh. chapter 10. Thank you, Lord. And we're starting at verse 13. Hallelujah. And we're going all the way to verse 15. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you have the word, say amen. <laughs> For so whosoever shall call Upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Okay. For whosoever yep. shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Whosoever just call upon that name shall be saved. Shall is a promise that in me it shall happen. Out of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So when you profess with your mouth, make sure your heart is in line with what you're saying. Go ahead, honey. Hallelujah. Verse 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Mm -hmm. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Yes. Verse 15. And this is the key verse. Yes. This is the key. So put a star by this. 
And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Amen, amen. I got a couple of notes I'm going to read. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. The anointing is enabling power. The anointing is enabling power. In the natural things that you do, it takes the spirit of God to do supernatural things to you. Supernatural things to you. Me, me being up here is, is all God. Because if you if you knew me personally, I'm really shy. But when I get up here, all shyness leaves. So that lets you that lets you see that it, this is God moving. It don't have anything to do with me. So let me read this to you. It's enabling power. The power that allows you to do things with supernatural strength. Strength who strength of who do you say? Strength of the Holy Ghost. So we have to have the strength of the Holy Ghost moving in us. Moving through our DNA. Moving in our in our heart, in our mind. Led by the Spirit. And when uh, we had that consecration, I, I, I said that you have to be careful what you pray for. Because what you pray for, you don't know how much you're going to have to go through to fulfill what you, you, you're asking God for. And what I asked God, I said, I want to go in the aisles and they feel the anointing. But in my heart, that's what I really meant. But I didn't know how sick I was going to get. But I said, God, you, you, uh, uh, I'm going through all this pain in the body, all this pain, headaches and pain in the body. Seemed like I, I wasn't getting well. I said, God, I, I, I know you want me to prosper. You want me to be in hell. I said, why I'm going through all of this? He said, I'm doing what you asked. I'm just doing what you asked. You said that you want people to feel the anointing when you get in the aisles. But this is the way. This is the way I have for you. This is the way I want you to go through. So when people see you, they don't, they don't see what you're going through. They see my spirit moving. They see my power moving. So I, I asked God that maybe 10 years ago, but I've been going through 10 years. And I say, Lord, how you heard Bishop last week. I, he was saying, how long? How long I got to go through this? How long did I got to be afflicted? But God said, I got, a, I got a purpose. I got a plan for you. You just stay in my will. You just stay in my word. You, you just keep praying to, to me. I got your back. I ain't going to put no more on you than you can bear. Okay, let me go on. give you strength of the Holy Ghost. And it gives you the power to live right. It gives you the power to talk right. 
It also gives you the power to not curse your neighbor out. When they, they get in your parking spot, see my wife, she like to blow the horn. But that same power will keep you for cutting up. That same power that brings deliverance, that same power will keep your mind. The anointed works with the Spirit of God. The anointing works with the Spirit of God. Often the enemy comes to, to our mind to make us think that we can do this in the natural. But it takes the Spirit of God to do the work that he has called for all of us to do. Because we all have a work to do. So it's up to us to do that work, but we have to do it in the spirit. We need the spirit of God moving in the inside that it will reflect on the outside. Amen. Oh. The spirit of God worketh to help you carry out the work that God has given you. Rather, it's to pray for the sick and they shall recover because the anointing that's on you. And see, this anointing that's on you, it can't be copied. This anointing that's on you, see, it can't be passed down because God handpicked you for the job. He handpicked me for that job to walk through the aisle. It had my name on it. And I was asking God, why me? But why not me? Why not me? Why not go through this storm? So an assignment is a task just for you. Whether God gives you an assignment, God gives you the anointing for the assignment. In other words, God has equipped you for the job. So the church, the church is a training ground to prepare you for the work that God has for you. So on, that was Friday night, we was getting trained for the job. We was getting motivated to carry out the assignment. We was getting motivated to carry out the assignment. My assignment may not be yours. And your assignment may not be mine. But at the end of the day, we have an assignment. We have a mission that we got to complete. How can you lead if you can't follow? How can you lead if you can't follow? Something that me and Bishop talked about often, being a leader. But in order to lead, you got to be able to follow. Follow the instruction of your pastor, when he tell you to do something, 
whether it's to clean the bathroom, whether it's the vacuum, you got to do it in the right spirit. You got to have the right spirit and your motive have to line up with what you're doing. I'm not doing this to be, be seen, but I'm doing it for the glory of God. No matter what the outcome may be, I want you to get the glory, Lord. Amen. Get the glory. So the enemy wants to try to do everything in his power to distract you from the assignment. The enemy throws all kind of dark, darks at you, try to stop you. It can be things on the family where this didn't happen, that didn't happen, but it, it pulling you from the assignment that God has for you. Now, it's different. It's God tell you to do, do this. I want you to do this. But God always pull you back to the assignment that he has. He pull you back, pull you back in to, your, to the assignment. When you have given an assignment, you, hmm, no, no, I want this, I want this here. Verse 10. Verse 10. In other words, preachers are to give the assignment by God to give the word to the people out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh so as God given that preacher assignment it's going to be aligned to with what you need it's going to be aligned with what you need so as God begin to give that leader a download it's going to be what the church needs. So I just stopped by to let you know that God has given us an assignment. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad about it. I'm so glad that he chose me. That he chose me for this assignment. He could have chose anybody for the assignment but he looked down and saw me he said I'm gonna use Elder Charles I got this assignment for you to carry out I got this assignment for you to carry out so I'm not going to let you go until you carry out this assignment. See, I was dealing with a little depression when COVID came. But I said, Lord, I'm going to hold on to your changing hand. You see, I was preparing, Elder Kenny, for my service. But the Lord said, I got work for you to do. I got work for you to do. So I'm here today to do the work. I said yes to your will. Yes to your way. Have your way, Jesus. I'm down in my soul. I need the more, more of your help. I need the more of your strength. I need the more of your joy. I need the more of your anointing. I need the more of your presence. So every time I get down, 
down on my knees. I say, Lord, help me today. I need you like never before. I need you more today than I did yesterday. So I'm calling on your name. I need you, Lord, to pick me up and turn me around. I need your power to fall today. Fall fresh, fall afresh upon me, God. I need the more of you. So, so, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 So I was getting the courage. See, I'm, I'm glad about the, the men's, men's meeting. See, because when you plug up, when, when you plug up a lecture, when you plug up a lecture, you plug up that lamp, you get a power source. But if you unplug that lamp, it's no more power. But see, every time me and the meeting, the men meeting go, I'm getting more power. Every time we have a consecration, it's more power. Although that I, I like to eat, I love to eat, but it's a suffering way. It's a suffering way. So as I begin to consecrate myself. And see, what I love about consecration, you don't know what's going to come out. But, but when you go in, you go in expecting, God, I need your help. I need you to come in and clean me up. But you don't know what that may be. But as God reveal what need to come out, it may be something in your heart. Some you holding on. That sin that easily besets you. And we, we have an idea of what that sin is. But it's up to us to say, God, I'm coming to you because I, I need your help. I'm coming to you. See, us men, since it's men's month, I'm almost through. Since, since this men's month, see, us men, we, oh, I. I got this. I can carry this. But but see, God, he don't, he don't want us to carry everything. He said, give it to me. So we was in the consecration that Friday. He said, give it to me. You've been holding this long enough. Say it out. Say it out. But we so proud. It takes a consecration for it to come out. Why can't it come out? Why can't it come out anyway? But God knows, Deacon Joe, what we need. He did that consecration just for me. My name was on the consecration. So me and Elder Goldie was talking. I'm ready for another. Because the, the, more, the more consecration, the more power, the more word, the more he reveals. The more prayer, the more he talks. And I, it's something that I say to my wife, God is always talking. God is. It's always talking. But we have to have the ear to hear what the Spirit is saying. And see, when I was sitting in that seat, <laughs> I, did, I thought I had an ear to hear. But that ear can become dull. People can be, come to you Brother, you need to come up. You need to do this. But you got to guard up. Whatever you say, it's, it's none of that. 
Man, I don't even know why I'm going this way. This is not even in my notes. But see, I had a guard up. And then, see, God, God is a big God. He know how to break that guard. So what he did, he said, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you out there to Bishop. <laughs> so he, gonna, he said, I'm going to make it that you said you're going to come up. I'm going to make you prove what you say. You see, y'all may see me helping. That's in my heart. But it's also helping me to come up. Because I promised God that I was going I was gonna come up. So God know how to make you prove what you say. And Bishop Gillespie, CW, he was really tough on me. I said, Bishop, I'm doing good today. I'm doing good. He said, are you really? And he, and he know how to deal with you in a such a way. I said, man, I, 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 I need to come on. I'm, I'm lacking. But it was for the glory of God that it was allowing me to see Myself, Elder Kenny, allow me to see where God, God want to perfect me. Not just for me, but for the edifying of the body. Because when I'm lacking, I'm not helping my brothers. I'm not helping my sisters. Because I need y'all just like y'all need me. But so I have to keep, I have to help carry the weight. See, my message is, you are anointed to carry. So I can't sit in a seat and not carry. So I have to get up and start carrying and start going to work. Because God was dealing with me. I had several people come to me. That's great. But it's something when God speaks to you and say, brother, you ain't doing what you're supposed to do. You ain't preaching my word like you're supposed to. You're not praising me enough. You're not worshiping me enough. Because what it takes for you, it may take more than that for me. So I just stopped by to have a little talk. Just a little talk to let you, you see where I'm at. Because I'm grateful for what God has placed me in the body. I can be Charles. And it's good being Charles. Because God can use me in the, the spot that I am. Because he designated that spot just for me. He designated that spot just for me. So as we come to a close, if you're dealing with something today and you need prayer, I come in agreement with you because the Spirit of God is here. The store is open. We can lay it on the altar and let God come in. I don't want you to see me. I'm not even up here. 
I want you to see God. I want you to see your Savior. I want you to see the one that paid the price, that shed his blood upon the cross. I want you to see that anointed one that destroys the yoke, that, that, that one that paid it all. I want you to see that one can carry your burdens because it's too heavy. It's too heavy for you. It's too heavy for me. So, if anyone need prayer, come now. Hello, family. We would like to thank you for your continued charitable support. If you would like to sow into the March of Faith Community Church, please note the following ways to give. One, mail contributions to P.O. Box 999, Carbondale, Illinois, 62903. Two, cash app to Midwest SG. Three, Venmo to Midwest SG. Thank you again, and may God bless you.